The National Home Show is on and there are many demos and simulations you can check out here this week, including the Skills Ontario Trades and Tech Truck. We're going to need over 350,000 skilled workers in the skilled trades by the year 2025. This, what you're in, is the new truck, the new mobile class unit, and it's got all kinds of simulators so that kids, students, anyone can actually try a trade. The truck, which is displayed here at the show, will soon be hitting the road, traveling across the province, encouraging young people to look into skilled trades when planning their future. Anyone can sit in this chair. We can choose a crane, a backhoe, you name it, and you drive it, you operate it. What we have here is kind of like a, uh, a wall that you would have in any home. Uh, but usually the wall in the home's got the drywall. You don't see all what's behind the wall. So what people normally see is, you know, the paint, the wall, and you have your lights. But what we want people to see is all that makes all this stuff work, the wiring stuff. So students or anyone in this truck can have a chance to fish some wire. How do you get the wires in there? How a panel works? The show features more than 500 exhibitors and three main stages. The skills exhibits aren't the only ones trying to give the public a new perspective on building and design. My livable home is a pavilion at the National Home Show. It's the first time we've had a pavilion like this. And the objective here is to really educate the consumers um, on options to modify their home so that they can live in place and not have to end up going into a retirement home. So this is a, the Bloom Explorer suit. And um, what it does is it's a research tool for Bloom and it mimics what it's like to age. So this suit is supposed to make me feel about 25 years older than what I am. So that brings me to about 50 years old. Just kidding. The show runs until April the 24th. To find out more information on the show, there's a link on our website, citynews.ca, under extras. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.